Welcome to this TrainX video on how to become a Microsoft Certified Trainer, generally referred to as an MCT. TrainX have been invited by Microsoft to provide instructional skills certification for those wishing to become an MCT. For over 20 years, through an earlier instructional skills program, we've assisted hundreds of trainers to achieve the MCT along with hundreds more to become Adobe and Checkpoint trainers. We look forward to working with you as part of the MCT journey, whether you are the candidate yourself or are responsible for building a team of MCTs for your organization. We assure you of our full attention and timeliness as we provide you with a comprehensive and cost-effective solution. This video is primarily focused on providing an orientation and technical overview for the MCT certification process. We'll discuss the benefits gained by holding the certification and the technical requirements to attain it. The enrollment process to initially become an MCT is described. We'll also cover the key points of Microsoft's instructional skills provider program and the role that TrainX have within this. Specifically, our course meets Microsoft's instructional skills certificate element for the MCT enrollment process. Further resources are available from TrainX that provide detail and depth in regard to our instructional best practices course. TrainX are very flexible in providing the training for you and will present some of the ways that you can attend the training and achieve your instructional skills certificate. In Microsoft's own words, Microsoft Certified Trainers are the premier technical and instructional experts in Microsoft technologies. So, by achieving the certification, you'll have demonstrated that you have not only the proven technical knowledge and skills to be of benefit to your learners but also, by holding the Instructional Skills Certificate, that you can effectively convey your knowledge to your training events attendees. Microsoft Training Services Partners are effectively training organizations that deliver using Microsoft's official courseware and as part of the partnership, are required to have an MCT deliver each training event. The aim of this compliance is to build quality in at every level so that the learner's experience is exemplary. MCT status is an annual membership program for professionals. You must meet program enrollment or renewal requirements, complete the online application, and agree to the MCT program agreement each year to remain enrolled. Please note, you'll only need to have achieved the TrainX Instructional Skills Certificate once, for your first enrollment in the MCT program. Afterwards, Microsoft hold your Instructional Skills Certification status on file and they concentrate on your technical certifications for MCT renewal. Along with being able to officially deliver Microsoft courses, there are a number of additional benefits that come with the MCT. Active MCTs receive access to software licenses, service credits, exam discounts, and other benefits designed to help them prepare for Microsoft course deliveries and enhance their technical expertise. MCTs and MCT alumni have access to MCT Lounge, a gated community within the Microsoft tech community. The MCT Lounge offers exclusive access to resources to keep you up to date with the program, including available courseware and professional development libraries. Additionally, there's the possibility to engage with fellow professionals and to connect with Microsoft Training Services partners. For those not actively delivering training when the annual renewal comes around, there is the opportunity to keep in the loop by joining the alumni program. There are numerous benefits for organizations sponsoring MCT candidates. Organizations employing or developing a team of trainers to become MCTs have the option of becoming a Microsoft Training Services partner. In-house MCTs may prove advantageous when it comes to costs, quality management, business development, and for effective and scalable course scheduling. There are three key requirements at enrollment time. At actual enrollment, the applicant will have to review and agree to the MCT program agreement. Please note the actual statement of agreement is made during the final application process and can only be done when the instructional certificate and technical credential elements have been achieved. However, it's wise to read through this at the beginning of the MCT journey to ensure that you'll be in agreement before committing to hours of study and some expense. Microsoft publish their fees, as applicable, for each world region. As they are tiered and vary over time, we've not included them here. Microsoft's fees are separate to TrainX's fee for the Instructional Skills Certificate Training, which, in turn, are published on our website. 
the candidate will also need to have achieved an MCT qualifying technical credential. There are dozens of possible technical credentials and at the time this video was created these needed to be either associate or expert level. Please note that the MCT program is evolving and that other credentials may become applicable in the future along with possible variants on the MCT designation. Subscribe to TrainX directly as we'll provide email updates on any changes to the MCT program. The final requirement is for the candidate to have verified proof of instructional skills. TrainX's instructional skills certificate is recognized by Microsoft. Once the candidate has completed the instructional skills certification process with TrainX, the proof is made available to Microsoft as part of the enrollment process. In practice, there is no particular order in which to achieve the MCT qualifying credential and the instructional skills certificate. They simply both need to have been achieved by enrollment. Our experience is that achieving the instructional skills certification first is useful in preparing for the technical certification. A prospective MCT who considers how they'd relay their new technical knowledge to a group of learners is already building learning delivery strategies for the technical content they are studying. TrainX's instructional skills course presents a scalable, tailorable process-driven model that incorporates best practice instructional delivery at its heart. Exceptional training delivery yields exceptional results. For example, TrainX utilizes the same instructional practices described here and has a 100% pass rate for all Agile PM candidates, since commencing delivery in 2013, remaining true at the time of this video's publication. As the course is aligned within Microsoft's ISCP, any future program requirements will be incorporated. While the main focus is on the knowledge and skills that lead to exemplary classroom delivery, including presentation strategies, questioning approaches, and positive group management. Time is also taken to consider the entire training ecosystem. We've found that freelance trainers in particular need to be very thoroughly prepared for all foreseeable circumstances. The reason for this is that less experienced training providers or organizations hosting in-house training events often expect the freelance trainer to resource the entire event. We're aware of examples where trainers have literally been given the key to a room full of hardware on the morning of a training event with no courseware, no technical setup etc. in place. This puts the trainer in a very difficult position as they've immediately a cohort of learners to attend to. Knowing upfront how to ensure that the preparation and resourcing is complete and in a timely order, vastly increases the quality of the experience for all involved. During your instructional skills course we discuss how to build quality into training delivery. The delivery model is scalable to allow quality training delivery irrespective of the complexity of the environment. Here are a couple of instances to illustrate this. For the first example, Consider a large corporate training program with numerous cohorts attending a series of training events scheduled over an extended period of time. This will clearly need particularly detailed planning and preparation. Comprehensive requirements gathering and analysis need to take place prior to any training delivery. When the results of this are correctly applied it will allow the expectations of all parties to be aligned, leading to consistent, exemplary quality training. For a second example, Consider a small cohort, relatively straightforward single training event using previously delivered materials and possibly within an established training provider's environment. While quality is still paramount, this is closer to business as usual and the model scales down to ensure quality without being onerous. The goal of this video is to provide reasonable insight into how TrainX help a candidate achieve MCT status. So we're only providing a relatively high-level overview of the Instructional Skills Certification course within this video. There are five key learning outcomes and these are fully described during the course and in other resources available from TrainX. Learning Outcome 1. Establish the learning outcomes and delivery mechanism. While excellent courseware is an ideal component within any training delivery, actually matching the learning requirements of the learner and their sponsor are key. There may be a need to augment or refine the courseware with specific examples or terminology. Another key requirement is to determine the delivery mechanism. There are both subtle and marked differences in instructional practice for virtual versus in-person training. 
Any learner accommodation needs must be identified early and planned for and practiced prior to the scheduled event. There may also be housekeeping and other record keeping and communications requirements that need to be identified and addressed before actual training delivery commences in order for the training program to be successful. Learning Outcome 2 Trainer Preparedness Microsoft's MCT agreement in conjunction with their training services partner agreements are very specific about preparedness from both a technical knowledge and skills perspective and also from an instructional practices one. This section of TrainX's instructional skills course emphasizes trainer preparedness by practicing the delivery of the training according to the instructional design. Utilizing the virtual or physical classroom features effectively along with the specified media, such as whiteboards, software demonstrations, chat, breakout rooms and so on, all add value. Learning Outcome 3 – Learning Environment Preparation In this section, the suitability and availability of the training delivery environment is considered. While the trainer should already have practiced the delivery of the training in either a virtual or in-person environment as part of their general readiness, there is a need to ensure that actual delivery can be made. For example, a scheduled virtual classroom delivery to an organization with distinct security and firewall policies should include comprehensive pre-event testing to ensure that learners will actually be able to access the content. For an in-person training event, the facility must be pre-equipped and the setup confirmed and signed off, comfortably in advance. In all cases statutory safety and legal requirements must be identified and met. Learning Outcome 4 Training Delivery This section covers the actual delivery of the planned training content, whether in a virtual classroom or an in-person setting. We cover this in depth during the instructional skills course. A successful trainer must be able to deliver technical training in line with the agreed instructional design, meeting the specified learning objectives and schedule. Equally they must ensure positive group management strategies are implemented and ensure that each learner progresses through the learning in safety and comfort. During the course, a video of approximately 15 minutes duration is made, recording the candidate's training delivery skills as an output from the training and as evidence of competence. Learning Outcome 5 – Event Closeout at the conclusion of the training event, the trainer must ensure that post-event obligations are met. These may include forwarding agreed records and other reporting. Additionally, there may be facility post-event requirements, such as the removal of any licensed materials and the return of equipment. Any lessons learned are captured and communicated, bringing benefit to future training events. TrainX provide a public schedule consisting of virtual and in-person training events during which candidates are guided through the course syllabus. During the course a short video is recorded, with the candidate leading, demonstrating instructional behaviors, such as using questioning strategies and supervising hands-on exercises. This is recorded with a group of learners so that it is representative of an actual training event. This video is provided to the candidate as evidence of their ability to successfully lead an event. The setting can be either a virtual or in-person classroom, both are equally relevant to the certification. The course is generally delivered over three days or 18 hours in total. For example, we run Microsoft Instructional Skills Certificate Provider, ISCP, program courses in central London as well as by virtual classroom delivery and on-site for single organizations. It is available across multiple time zones and with some blended and weekend events available to allow for flexibility. Delivery includes time to practice and record the attendees' performance video which has a duration of around 15 minutes. MCT candidates often have very busy schedules and for private individuals, it may be difficult to take time out from the working week. With these constraints in mind, TrainX will work with you and this may be for one-to-one -one sessions possibly on a weekend. For organizations wishing to build a team of MCTs, an on-site event may be the best solution. TrainX have provided on-site training in many countries since 2000. While the focus of this video is towards the Microsoft Instructional Skills Certification Program, TrainX's course is appropriate for any learning provider and technical trainer.
Leading a training event requires knowledge and skills within the technical context of the event and also well-developed instructional skills. The video created will demonstrate the competence of the candidate in delivering the chosen technical content. For practical reasons, including the skill set of the video's audience members and also dependent upon the candidate's technical level at the time of the instructional certification class with TrainX, it may be better to select an entry-level technical subject for the video. While the trainer's instructional skills will need to be evident for the video to be viable, there is no requirement to provide advanced technical content such as would be delivered during a multi-day expert level course. The content simply needs to be technical in nature and rich enough to showcase the candidate's instructional skills in a realistic setting. Subjects such as creating a basic web page using HTML, formatting a document in Excel or Word, creating a workflow diagram etc. will all be entirely acceptable as much as would provisioning a virtual machine in Azure. While we've an absolute requirement to meet the quality criteria and learning outcomes of the Instructional Skills Certificate for Microsoft, we also realize that some candidates can be quite nervous about this element of the MCT. Please rest assured that we've years of experience in providing support and reassurance and we work with everyone to make it an enjoyable and productive experience that carries over into real-world training. In summary, we covered the key elements of the Microsoft Certified Trainer Certification. We've discussed the many benefits of becoming an MCT, including being able to deliver official Microsoft courses, attain exam discounts, access courseware, and much more. We discussed the additional benefits that the sponsoring organization may realize, such as becoming a Microsoft Training Services partner. We've described the requirements, essentially signing up to Microsoft's program agreement, covering their fee, earning a technical credential and of course, demonstrating instructional skills through earning an instructional skills certificate with TrainX. The MCT program is evolving and as new technologies are brought to the market, trainers need to be on board with these. As YouTube's policies don't allow updates to existing videos, we'll provide additional focused videos on updates to the program released to us by Microsoft which will include information on fee changes, new credentials, and new specific designations to the MCT. We've put relevant links in the video's description. Subscribe now for timely updates. The MCT is attainable and the next step that TrainX can support you with is to secure the instructional skills certificate for yourself or your team. Remember that this can be completed before your MCT's technical credential requirement. Our public instructional skills certification events are limited to a maximum of four attendees to ensure individual attention. Single organization courses can have varied durations and attendee numbers. We'll run one-to-one -one training as we realize your MCT attainment schedule is a priority. Book now directly via our site. Our schedule is updated based on demand. For additional dates, including weekend and time zone specific events, multiple attendee discounts, on-site and single organization training requests and for any other information, please contact us via one of the listed channels. From there we'll reply and as required, we can arrange a call to discuss your particular requirements. Thank you for taking the time to view this video, we very much appreciate your interest. We look forward to working with you in achieving your MCT goals.